Good evening. You're all really welcome to Water Safety Ireland's National Award Ceremony for 2022. Coming to you from the offices of our friends at Board East Gawara, overlooking beautiful 19th century Dunlera Harbour, one of the largest harbours ever built in Western Europe and a venue for all kinds of aquatic activities year round. I'm Miriam O'Callaghan and I'm delighted to be your MC this evening. Well, these awards, they celebrate those who saved others at risk of drowning and pay tribute to the volunteers that give so much of their time to teach children and adults the life-saving skills they need to stay safe at our waterways. We'll also highlight some additional awards, including Water Safety Ireland's Volunteer of the Year, Sports Persons of the Year, as well as presenting Media Appreciation Awards and some Community and Social Responsibility Awards as well. An average of 110 people drown in Ireland every year. And although one drowning is one too many, this figure would be much higher had it not been for the people that we're about to recognise this evening. Well, to start us off, let's hear a few words from the chairperson of Water Safety Ireland, Claire McGrath. Good evening, and thank you for tuning in to our annual National Awards Ceremony for 2022. As Chair of Water Safety Ireland, I'm particularly proud of all the recipients that we recognise here this evening, and I'm proud for two good reasons. Firstly, the Rescue Awards highlight great news stories that could have ended very differently. And secondly, our Long Service Awards remind us of the value of our volunteers and the work they do in their communities, teaching skills that keep people safe. I will give you a quick rundown on the projects that Water Safety Volunteers worked on during 2022. We launched the new WISE programme for secondary schools. We continued the rollout of our PROS programme for the primary schools and we expanded the Hold Hands programme for preschool children. I'm particularly pleased that these three programmes ensure that water safety reaches all school going ages and is part of our effort to change people's skills, attitudes and behaviours in and around water. We also ran a full programme of competitions this year, culminating in the national Irish team travelling to the World Championships in Italy. As well as breaking many records in the pool, the Irish junior men's and junior boys team, both board rescue teams, came fifth in the world and the junior ladies board rescue team came second in the world, bringing home well coveted silver medals, a fantastic achievement by our competitors and coaches alike. We also completed a full review of the water safety swimming syllabus, revamping the seal Orca and Marlin Awards, which will be reintroduced in early 2023. We completed a CPD module on safety in open water swimming, which is very relevant at the moment, given the number of people open water swimming. Every year we hear about drownings in the news and this summer was no different. We averaged 110 drownings in the last 10 years, but this could have been much higher, but for the lifeguards trained and assessed by our members on the beaches and pools around the country. The seasonal beach lifeguards working on coastal and inland locations nationwide had a busy summer in 2022. They rescued 578 from drowning, reunited 587 children with their guardians and gave first aid to more than six and a half thousand people. If any message comes from this statistics, it is that we must continue to encourage our friends and family to use the lifeguarded waterways. Put it simply, it's the safest place to swim. World Drowning Prevention Day on July 25th was an important part of Irish Water, Water Safety Ireland's calendar. We should be proud that the resolution was an initiative of both Ireland and Bangladesh. This year, the theme that was rolled out through the World Health Organization was to do one thing to prevent drowning. And it is an understatement to say how proud we were of Irish members and our public who supported the day by teaching water safety skill, learning water safety skill, sharing a piece of water safety advice or changing one mind about safety in and around water. I am confident that we are succeeding in changing mindsets and encouraging people to take responsibility of their, about their safety and the safety of their loved ones. And I believe that together we can bring even more the drownings down in the future. I wish to thank all the committees, the commissions, the working groups and the water safety area committees for all their contributions and work during 2022. 
I wish to welcome the new council that was appointed by Minister Humphreys in March of 2022 and thank all the staff in the head office in Galway for all their work during this year. In particular, I would like to welcome our new CEO, Joanne Walsh, to the organisation. This award ceremony is a celebration of many volunteers throughout the country. Water Safety Ireland is built on the amazing achievement of our handiwork and our, hand, our hard working volunteers. We hope to see as many of you as possible in person in 2023, and this is booked for Dublin Castle next November. Thank you for tuning in, and on behalf of Water Safety Ireland, the Council, myself and my family, I wish you and your family a happy and a peaceful Christmas. Thanks so much, Claire. Well, now let's hear from the CEO of Water Safety Ireland, Joanne Walsh. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joanne Walsh, and I have recently been appointed to the position of CEO for the Water Safety Ireland Council. This evening, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to be here with you all at this wonderful celebratory occasion, albeit in a virtual capacity. Water Safety Ireland is a wonderful example of communities, volunteers and rescue heroes all coming together in Oberlikela for one common goal, to keep lives safe in all aquatic environments. This event this evening brings together committee, working group and commission members, volunteers and others from a multitude of groups and supporting stakeholders throughout the country who work tirelessly to provide water safety services to our families, our friends and our communities. Water Safety Ireland never takes for granted the vital and immeasurable work you do every day. This evening, on behalf of Water Safety Ireland, I want to thank each and every one of you and I look forward to continuing and developing our partnerships further over the coming years. This evening especially marks a wonderful event as it is our national award ceremony. We honour our long service recipients who between them have given over 500 years of voluntary commitment to water safety. We also recognise our newest life governors who have demonstrated a particular dedication to water safety throughout their tenure. I would like to congratulate these recipients and recognise the exceptionally high standards of service they have provided. This evening, we also honour some remarkable rescuers with our Seiko Just In Time Awards. Other most notable awards include Volunteer of the Year and Community and Social Responsibility recipient, and we also honour our Memorial Award recipients. Also this evening, we will mark our wonderful Sportsperson of the Year Award and deliver our Media Appreciation Awards. Tragically, 80 lives were lost due to drowning in 2021. This was four more lives lost in comparison to the previous year. Water Safety Ireland holds a vital position as the key pillar in the promotion and education of water safety in Ireland and also in spearheading measures required to prevent accidents in water. Over the last few decades, drowning rates have decreased in Ireland. We can, we can attribute this reduction to many factors, not least our organisation's rich history of volunteerism and its deep-rooted commitment to drowning prevention initiatives nationwide. Water Safety Ireland's key objective today and moving forward is to bring the number of lives lost by drowning down further. But in order to make this happen, we need everyone to be water safety aware and water safety conscious. In the words of Benjamin Franklin, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Gurmag of Galair, enjoy the evening. Thanks so much, Joanne. And now let's hear from the Minister for Rural and Community Development, Heather Humphreys, TD. Hello, everyone. To everyone watching this evening, it's a great honour for me to address your National Awards Ceremony. Tonight, four women and 14 men are being recognised for doing something absolutely remarkable, and that's saving a life. 
You've been recognised for your determination, for your strength, for looking out for others and for your extraordinary displays of courage. Due to your actions and your bravery, there are people alive today who might not otherwise be. For that, you should be extremely proud. Well done to each and every one of you. Your outstanding efforts mean that you really are true heroes. Also tonight, I want to say to the people who coach and train people in swimming and life-saving all over the country, you too are saving lives by enabling others to do so. Without the coaches, the trainers and the teachers, we would not have the large volume of lifesavers across our country that we can be so proud of. Of course, despite all our efforts, we can't prevent all eventualities. Tragically, last year, 80 drownings occurred in Ireland. Each one of these has left behind distraught relatives and friends. Each drowning is a tragedy for all those involved. And that is why we must and will continue to work together to keep the level of drownings as low as possible every year. This summer, lifeguards rescued 578 people from drowning, administering first aid to almost 6,700 people and reunited 587 lost children with their families. These statistics are startling. Even though this year's awards are virtual, the many rescues that our brave awardees have been involved in are very real and have saved many people from serious injury or loss. The lifeblood of this organisation, of course, is its volunteers. One way in which the loyalty and commitment of water safety volunteers can be acknowledged and recognised is through the various wards for service to the organisation. But we can be certain that many people who can now swim or who are lifesavers would not have these skills had it not been for the volunteers. The service given by each of today's awardees is exceptional and they deserve this special recognition. I also express my heartfelt congratulations to each and every recipient of the Rescue Appreciation Awards and the SECO Just In Time Rescue Awards. These awards are made to members of the public who act without fear or hesitation to assist persons in distress and assist those in danger of drowning. Their bravery in very difficult and challenging circumstances is to be commended and each recipient is more than worthy of the honour being bestowed. I must also acknowledge the rollout of the Smart Ring Boys initiative last month. With the support of my department, some 640 Ring Boys sensors will be rolled out across eight local authorities. This project will ensure that our local authority staff are alerted immediately if a Ring Boy is damaged or missing from its station. All these developments will make Ireland a safer place in which to live, work and play, whether it is in, on or near water. I would like to personally pay tribute to John Leach, whose term as CEO has ended. I want to acknowledge the dedication that John has given to water safety, both here in Ireland and internationally, and I wish you every success in your retirement, John. I would also like to welcome Joanne Walsh, the new CEO for Water Safety Ireland. I wish you every success in your new post, and I would like to thank the new council for their enthusiasm with which they have taken on their roles. But above all, today is about you. The recipients of these awards and I would like to thank you all not just the worthy winners but each and every one of the volunteers who worked tirelessly to make our rivers lakes seas and swimming pools safer for the enjoyment of our community your dedication is greatly appreciated by me and everyone else who has availed of your tremendous commitment and enthusiasm and I really would like to congratulate all those receiving awards this evening and applaud your bravery Goramila Mahagiv Goler Thanks so much, Minister Humphreys.
Well, our first category of awards this evening is our Community and Social Responsibility Award, which recognises those who helped promote water safety in Ireland. The first recipient is Timemark. Timemark Limited distributes leading watch and jewellery brands nationwide and sponsors the Seco Just In Time Award. We're deeply grateful for their 21 years of support. Our next recipient is Canada Life Reinsurance. Canada Life Reinsurance partnered with Water Safety Ireland to fund life-saving ring buoys directly to recently flooded regions of Pakistan. These ring buoys are going to be used by first responder medical crews on the ground to help with rescue efforts in areas devastated by flooding. Thank you, Canada Life Reinsurance. Our next recipient is the Irish actor Liam Neeson. Liam graciously recorded water safety messages for radio, TV and online, reminding people that learning a life-saving skill saves lives. Well, Liam also recorded messages to raise awareness around World Drowning Prevention Day, which was highlighted by the World Health Organization. Thanks so much, Liam, for supporting our efforts to bring drownings down. As we look to the new year ahead, light a candle for the young, and old, the dreams that died, the families devastated, for all those who lost their lives in the last year to drowning. Always wear a life jacket on water, and remember, learning to swim, learning a life-saving skill saves lives. Our next recipient is Yulia Chichel. Yulia arrived as a refugee from Ukraine and she set about translating water safety information for her fellow Ukrainians who weren't aware of the coastal dangers around our country. Yulia also attended and translated water safety workshop material that gave advice as part of welcoming our Ukrainian friends and helping them to stay safe at our waterways. Thank you, Yulia. Our next recipient is Nick Korish. Nick Korish has given a lifetime of service to Water Safety Ireland as an instructor and volunteer, providing his time and knowledge to teach generations of students how to swim. Nick generously gave his time once more to star in Water Safety Ireland's New Year video, encouraging others to put water safety first. Thank you, Nick, for your continued support. I'm Nick Corish. I've been swimming all my life, 97 years and counting. I've always put water safety first. So do my family, all four generations. This new year, make it your resolution to do the same. Put water safety first and enjoy everything that brings, just as we do. Our next category of awards this evening are the Media Appreciation Awards. Well, these awards are presented to media organisations and those who work in the industry in appreciation for covering drowning prevention issues throughout the year. Our first award is the National Radio Broadcaster Award and the recipient is Jennifer Zamparelli. At the height of summer, when thousands of people were flocking to our beaches, Jennifer Zamparelli's show on RT's 2FM hosted discussions and podcasts that drew attention to the dangers associated with rip currents, inflatable toys and other water safety risks. Thank you, Jennifer, for informing listeners nationwide on how to stay safe in, on and near water. The second recipient this evening receives the Local Radio Station Award, which goes to Red FM in Cork. Cork's Red FM is broadcasting since 2002. Thanks to their ongoing coverage of water safety issues, listeners are more aware of the dangers at aquatic environments. Thank you, Red FM. Well, our next award is for National TV Broadcaster, and the recipient is Connor Kane, correspondent for RT News. Throughout the summer, thousands of people gathered on beaches and inland waterways nationwide. RT News filmed lifeguards at work in County Waterford and County Galway and also broadcast important summer safety advice. The news team also featured the installation of new smart ring boys that will alert local authorities when a ring boy is missing or stolen. Thank you to Connor and to his colleagues for raising awareness throughout the summer. 
Well, our next award is the Provincial Press Award and the recipient is Claire McGovern, editor at the Leitrim Observer. The Leitrim Observer is a weekly newspaper that was first published in 1889. It's promoted many of Water Safety Ireland's messages to readers, emphasising important drowning prevention advice. Thank you, Leitrim Observer, for highlighting water safety. Well, moving on to the National Press Award and the recipient this year is Paul Highland, journalist with the Irish Independent. Well, the Irish Independent has covered many water safety issues throughout the year, including a particularly poignant article by Paul Highland featuring the family of 14-year-old Bradley Lulendo, who drowned at Borough Beach in Dublin. Additional reporting included important advice for water users and we're truly grateful for Paul's efforts to keep people safe. Well, our final award in this category is for online broadcasting and the recipient is Sophie Collins, journalist with irishmirror.ie. Irishmirror.ie is one of Ireland's most read digital news websites. Their continued coverage of breaking news and warnings from Water Safety Ireland helped keep water safety in the public consciousness this past year. Journalist Sophie Collins focused on topical water safety issues and always included helpful advice. Thank you, Sophie, for putting water safety front and centre with your readers. Early last year, Water Safety Ireland launched the Hold Hands programme. The programme was designed to start a conversation about water safety for those in the pre-primary school age group and all those in early years learning. A physical pack was sent to every early learning and care centre in Ireland. What was great about it was that each pack contained six storyboards that created conversations about water safety in different scenarios. Full of simple advice in each scenario, all of the resources left the children with one key message, and that's to hold an adult's hand near the water. But that's just where it begins. These storyboards can be expanded on in many ways through drama and role play, incorporating arts and crafts activities involving children in storybooks and storytelling, and their favourite messy play. For drama and role play, the children could do dress up, someone could dress up as a lifeguard, or they could dress up as if they're going to the beach. For arts and crafts, the children can make safety flags and discuss what they all mean. Storybooks and storytelling is about engaging the children in books you know they'll love while enabling you to make that story about water safety. Messy play is messy but that's great because it's child led and that creates a natural opportunity for you to encourage water safety discussion on something they've already created. At Water Safety Ireland the biggest question we get asked is do you need to be a water safety expert to teach hold hands? And the answer is no. This is simple, practical advice that everyone will understand. To access all of these resources digitally and for loads of ideas on how to expand on each scenario to maximise the impact for all of the children in your care, visit holdhands.ie. Our next category is the Leon Quinlan Perpetual Award to a primary school in honour of two-year-old Leon who tragically drowned in 2004. This year's recipient is Corliss National School in County Cavan. Corliss National School in County Cavan is a small two-teacher school that's committed to delivering Water Safety Ireland's primary aquatics water safety programme to their pupils. The children learn about local hazards in the home, on the farm and other aquatic environments nearby. Congratulations to Corliss National School for ensuring that the children in their care have the knowledge and skills necessary to stay safe from drowning. Well, next up, we have the Avery Green Memorial Award to an early learning centre in honour of three-year-old Avery, who tragically drowned in 2019. This year's recipient is the Sunflower Crash and Play School in Westside Galway. The Sunflower Crash played a key role in helping Water Safety Ireland to create the resources for Hold Hands, a programme of activities and games that teach young children how to stay safe around water. Congratulations, Sunflower Crash and Play School. The next category is the WISE Award for the secondary school that demonstrated notable achievements in being wise to water safety. This year's recipient is St Anne's Community College, Killaloo, County Clare. Water Safety Ireland's secondary school programme WISE stands for Water, Insight, Safety and Education. 
It gives pupils the knowledge they need to stay safe near water. Project work encourages pupils to highlight local dangers and to help make their communities safer. Congratulations to the pupils at St Anne's Community College Killaloo and their teacher Rosie Foley for their enthusiastic participation in the programme. Hello, my name is Rosie Foley. I am a water safety instructor and examiner. I'm also a secondary school PE and geography teacher here in beautiful St Anne's in Killaloo in County Clare. Water safety is important for all ages, but especially so for secondary school students. When they reach secondary school, students begin to make up their own minds and define how they're going to behave in the world. Developed by Water Safety Ireland, WISE stands for Water, Insight, Safety and Education. It's designed to equip students with the knowledge they need to make right decisions in water-based situations. All lessons look at different environments and highlight potential dangers so students can better assess the risks to determine the safest course of action for themselves and others. Brightly designed and practically written using a combination of text, photography and video, these lessons highlight everyday situations to show how, when and where students should put water safety first. They're fun, engaging and relevant for students nationwide. As every teacher knows, smart thinking can set you up for life. The difference with WISE is that these smarts can save a life. WISE is available for teachers and students nationwide at teachwise.ie. Our next category is the Long Service Awards. These are presented to members of Water Safety Ireland in recognition of their voluntary commitment to promoting a public awareness of water safety and rescue. Water Safety Ireland extends a sincere debt of gratitude to the following volunteers. Receiving the Certificate of Service for 10 years is Jerry Bruton, Offaly, James Murray, Offaly, Pamela McGrath, Clare, Yvonne Byrne Kildare and Catherine Poole Kildare. Also receiving a 10-year award are Billy Cantillon and Stephen Ryan in Limerick, two members of Community Rescue Boats Ireland, a network of independent voluntary rescue boats that respond to emergencies in their areas. Well, congratulations to all for 10 years of service with Water Safety Ireland. Receiving the Service Medal of Honour for 15 years of service is Brendan Devlin, Loud, Brian Corcoran, Kildare, Susan Corcoran, Kildare, Brenda May, Kildare, Patrick May, Kildare, and Sam Murray, Kildare. And the following members of Community Rescue Boats Ireland in Limerick, Ian Cunningham, Joe Morgan, Tom Cusack, Tony Slattery, and Valerie Stundon. Congratulations to all for 15 years of service with Water Safety Ireland. Receiving the Bronze Bar to the Service Medal of Honour for 20 years of service is Kira O'Sullivan Limerick and the following members of Community Rescue Boats Ireland in Limerick Jonathan Broderick, Kieran Goodison, Peter Hogan, David Finn, Deirdre Moriarty, and Ken Moore. We're well, receiving the Silver Bar to the Service Medal of Honour for 30 years of service is May Coyle, Loud, and the following members of Community Rescue Boats Ireland in Limerick, Mal Sherlock and Trevor Sheehan. And the final recipients in the Long Service category receive the Gold Bar to the Service Medal of Honour for 40 years of service. The recipients are Ashling Cushion, Dublin, and Jimmy Riley Dublin. Well, congrats to all the Long Service Award recipients and thanks so much for your dedication to water safety. Your efforts have saved lives and they'll continue to help keep hundreds of people safe from aquatic accidents nationwide. I'm Lucy, I'm from Kilkenny and I've been lifeguarding on the River Nore for four years. Freshwater has no salt in it, so it's obviously less buoyant and it's a lot colder. Because of these differences, I would advise people, especially in freshwater, to swim in lifeguarded waterways. We have these swim zones, so between the red and yellow flags, there will be a lifeguard present, and that's basically an area that's safe for people to swim. 
It's important as well for people not to get too complacent in the water either. I think two years ago when a man was wearing inappropriate footwear, he was within the swim zone, he got his feet caught up in brambles and he actually got submerged underwater. We had to go out on the rescue board and save this man. It is important to know that because he was between the red and yellow flags, we could see him and we were responsible for him and that's basically how we got to him. That's how important it is to swim within the swim zone. Other hazards that are unique to freshwater are submerged objects, sudden depths and fast flowing water. Uh, we've had a lot of incidents over the years where there's been uprooted trees, poles, shopping trolleys, bikes, all that sort of stuff just submerged under the water that people are unaware of. You really do need to have your wits about you jumping into any water. Unlike the sea, you're not on a beach, you're not gradually going into the water. People are suddenly on the bank and then you're jumping into the water without an idea of what depth it is. We would advise you always to check the depth of the water before getting in. And in relation to currents, they also move faster and they're not always visible on the surface in a river. So my advice for people swimming in fresh water would be to always swim within the swim zone and lastly just check the depth and check the temperature of the water and have your wits about you before getting in. If you find yourself at a waterway that's not lifeguarded and you still want to get in and swim, please ask for local advice and never swim alone. For advice on how to enjoy our rivers and lakes safely, please visit watersafety.ie. The next category in this evening's award ceremony is the Volunteer of the Year and the recipient is Sinead Mortel from County Clare. Sinead can be described as an all-round WSI volunteer, qualifying as a lifeguard and giving back to her community in Clare as a water safety instructor and examiner. Sinead also runs training courses for aspiring instructors and conducts risk assessments to ensure that our waterways are safe for swimming. As a life-saving sport competitor, Sinead has successfully represented both her county and country and competed as a master in this year's World Life-Saving Championships in Italy. She continues to coach other competitors who also lifeguard the beaches of County Clare. She's also a qualified rescue boat driver and somehow she found time to be secretary of the local Water Safety Area Committee. Sinead reflects all that is positive about being a volunteer and is a very deserving recipient of our Volunteer of the Year Award 2022. Congratulations, Sinead. It's now the turn of Sportspersons of the Year. This summer, after a two-year gap, the Irish team went to the World Championships in Italy, where the senior team broke a number of Irish pool records and personal best performances. The junior team also performed well at the pool, making B finals and attaining personal best performances. The Irish team placed 11th in overall rankings out of 56 nations. But it was on the beach where the team surpassed expectations. While there were notable performances from the entire squad, the senior boys, junior boys and junior girls board rescue teams achieved great success including a World Championship silver medal. Well, congrats to the following Sportspersons of the Year recipients. Senior boys, Oren Savage and Tom Breen. Junior boys, Ferdia Hayes and Oshin O'Grady. Junior girls, Hazel Bentley and Liana Lydon. My name is Rachel Connolly and I lifeguard for Fingal County Council. That's uh, every beach from Balbriggan to Hoth in North County Dublin. What it means to be a beach lifeguard is that you're there for the public to assist them when they need help. You can offer advice and we check the weather conditions every day and we let them know if it's safe to swim or if it's not. And we're there to assist if there's a first aid incident or rescue or missing children. So for example, one day on a beach we had eight missing children in one day and we had three missing children at the same time. So that's three sets of parents begging us to look for their child first and it was during a heat wave we had over 2,000 other people to look after that beach as well so that was a very stressful day for us. The first piece of advice that I would give the parents is to always come to a lifeguarded beach. We're there to protect, let us be there for you. The second piece of advice I would give is to always swim between the red and yellow flags on the beach. That is the area we lifeguards will be looking at and it's the area where you'll be safest on the beach. 
The third piece of advice that I'd really hope parents would listen to is to never ever bring inflatables to the beach. I know they're toys, I know children love them, they're colourful, but they're dangerous, they're not created for open water and they cannot be used at the beach. So for example, the last day we were on the beach uh, for the summer last year, there was a mother and daughter went out an inflatable. Within two minutes, they were about 500 meters offshore. They started to panic and the lifeguards had to go out and get them. If we went there, they would have been brought out even further and it would have been a lot more dangerous for them. This summer, if you want to keep your family safe, you'll find all the advice you need on watersafety.ie. Our next category this evening is the Life Governor Award. The Award of Life Governor is presented to an individual who has demonstrated a particular dedication towards the humanitarian goal of saving life from drowning. The recipients are Lola O'Sullivan, Tom Doyle, Seamus O'Neill, Anne Ryan and Paul Murphy. Well, all of these recipients also served two five-year terms on the Council of Water Safety Ireland and we're truly grateful for their combined total of 50 years voluntary service on the Council, shaping and guiding the work of the Council over those two terms. Thank you and congratulations, Life Governors. My name is Jake Morris. I've been a lifeguard in Mayo for the last four years and I've been mostly based in Ackle. We have a zero tolerance policy on our beaches for anything inflatable as things can go very, very wrong very, very quickly. But we still see people getting in and breaking these rules and getting into trouble. Mostly inflatable sup boards right now. They are very bad if they are not properly inflated as they bow in the middle and we've even seen them snap back on people like a crocodile and also we see a lot of other sorts of rings and dolphins or any sort of animal you can imagine. The biggest problem with inflatables is the wind. Offshore wind will suck a kid out or any adult on anything inflatable as they sit solely on top of the water and move very fast. So recently on our beaches we had an incident where a son and a father went out on a stand-up paddleboard inflatable and in a matter of minutes they were over a kilometre from shore. In that instance they didn't just put themselves at risk, they put the lifeguards who had to go and rescue them at risk as well. As a lifeguard, I can't give any advice on how to use inflatables safely. The fact is they should never be used on the beach and they should never be used in open water. To the parents, we'd say do not buy them, do not encourage them. They are dangerous and it's easier for you to say no to your child in the shop than it is for a lifeguard to say no to your child on a beach. For advice on how to enjoy the beach safely, visit watersafety.ie. Our final category of awards this evening are the Seaco Just In Time Awards and Rescue Appreciation Awards, which are presented to those who help to save someone at risk of drowning. Without their quick thinking, the outcomes could have been so very different. The recipients are Gartha Sarah Lynham, Dublin. Last August, Gartha Sarah Lynham, a former competitive swimmer, became alerted to the fact that a person was in distress in the water at Bachelors Quay. She ran from the GPO on O'Connell Street and swam to the casualty. Once out of the water, she noticed he was not responsive, so she began CPR and he made a full recovery. Well done, Sarah. Frances Doherty and Maureen Devaney, Carrickfin Beach, Donegal. Last May, Maureen Devaney and her sister got pulled out to sea by a strong current. Maureen encouraged her sister to kick her legs and turn over onto her back, while Maureen swam to the shore where she got help from Frances, who swam out with a ring boy and started for shore. Meanwhile, Maureen had organised a chain of six people to wade out chest deep and bring both to safety. Well done, Frances and Maureen. John Timlin Kerry. Last August, John had just finished a surf lesson at Vermoyle Strand, Castle Gregory in Kerry. Suddenly, he saw swimmers in difficulty caught in a rip current. He quickly grabbed a surfboard and paddled out. It took some time to get through the high waves, but eventually John spotted a motionless girl. 
weak and semi-conscious. John pulled her up onto the board and began a challenging paddle to shore through dangerous conditions. He placed her into the recovery position and after coughing up a lot of water, he kept her warm with blankets from his van until emergency services arrived. Thankfully, she made a full recovery. Congratulations, John. Sarah Cook, Offaly. Last July, Sarah was teaching a water safety class at Banagher Pool in Offaly. A young man at the other end of the pool got into difficulty and was at risk of drowning. So she grabbed a ring boy, instructed her class to vacate the pool and brought him to safety. Well done, Sarah. My name is Sarah Donnelly. I am lifeguarding for six years and I patrol all the Mayo beaches. Paddleboarding and kayaking are really enjoyable sports. It's great for mobility and balance. As a lifeguard, we see kayaks and paddleboards getting caught in rip currents, change of tides and winds. The three most important pieces of advice that I could give to people who want to enjoy the sport are Number one is tell someone on land where you are going and how long you're going to be gone for. Number two is carry a means of calling for help, whether that be a VHF radio or a mobile phone in a waterproof bag. Number three is to always kayak or paddleboard in a lifeguarded area. Another tip from me before you get into the water, take the time to get professional training. But most importantly, when you're going paddleboarding or kayaking, you must wear a life jacket or a personal buoyancy aid. Know your ability, check the weather forecast and don't go out if the conditions aren't right. For more advice on how to enjoy paddleboarding and kayaking safely, visit watersafety.ie. Sergeant Brendan Byrne and Gartha Ronan Allen, Old Kevin Street, Gartha Station, Dublin. Well, in August 2019, Gartha, Brendan Byrne and Ronan Allen responded to a 999 call that a man was in the River Liffey. When they arrived, two men were in difficulty. Gartha Allen entered the water and reached them with a ring boy. Sergeant Byrne pulled the rope towards a ladder where Dublin Fire Brigade soon arrived at the scene and helped to take all three people out of the water to safety. Well done, Brendan and Ronan. David Caulfield, Dylan Puthari and Glenn Whiteman Wexford. In August 2021, David Caulfield was driving along the quays by the River Barrow in New Ross County, Wexford. He saw a man in the water and he immediately jumped in and pulled him towards the river bank where a passing boat spotted them and pulled them both to safety. Congratulations, David, Dylan and Glenn. Paul Sweeney and Gartha Mark O'Sullivan, Donegal. In December 2021, Paul saw a young man was in difficulty at Rathmullen Pier in Donegal. He entered the water and managed to reach the young man. Gartha Mark O'Sullivan arrived, grabbed a ring boy and entered the water. Both men kept the casualty afloat until emergency services arrived. The hypothermic young man was brought to hospital where he made a full recovery. Well done, Paul and Mark. Jonathan Munro, Galway. Last July, Jonathan was on his way to work when he saw a person in distress in the Eglinton Canal in Galway City. Jonathan entered the water, reached the man and pulled him to safety. He stayed with the casualty until emergency services arrived. The casualty made a full recovery. Thank you, Jonathan, and well done. Mikey O'Shukru, Sandy Cove, Dublin. Last August, Mikey had just come off duty as a lifeguard in Sandy Cove when he was alerted to a woman in distress in the water. A seal was attacking the woman. He entered the water with a flotation device and he brought the injured woman safely to shore where she received medical assistance for her wounds and made a full recovery. Congratulations, Mikey. Saoirse Maloney, Waterford. Last July, Saoirse was alerted that a woman was at risk of drowning in a cove in Ardmore. Saoirse swam to her rescue and brought her to safety while constantly reassuring her. Well done Saoirse for helping to ensure that a potential drowning was avoided.
My name is David Farley and I've been a pool and beach lifeguard for the past five years. I primarily lifeguard the Fingal beaches in North County Dublin. One of the most common instances that I come across on the beach is stranding. This occurs a lot on the Borough Beach in Sutton. Sutton is a highly tidal beach and at low tide a sandbar gets exposed. People are naturally drawn out to the sandbar to curiosity but what they don't realise is how quickly the water can come in behind them. Especially with spring tides because the tide is out so far it can be particularly attractive to walkers. So most people know there's a high tide and a low tide and there's six hours between them. So naturally they think when it's low tide there's six hours of time where I can walk along the shore and be safe. But what they don't know is the tide can come in quickly behind you without you even noticing. On one day last summer, nine people got stranded on the sandbank. We had to ferry them all back on the rescue board. A lot of them were quite worried there was an adult with a small child. The adult was really worried about the child getting across safely and about the child not being able to touch the bottom on their way back if they had to walk back. What they didn't realise is the water depth changed from about two foot to about three metres in the course of an hour. For a parent with small children, that can be extremely frightening. Fortunately, that was a lifeguarded beach and we were there that day. But there are a lot of beaches throughout the country where lifeguards aren't around and times of the year when lifeguards aren't present on the beach. That's why people need to know about the beach they intend on visiting. There could be tides that could affect currents, sandbars and other potential dangers on the beach. My advice is to ask the lifeguard about the beach when you get there. It's what we're there for. And if it's an unlifeguarded beach, ask a local and always carry a fully charged mobile phone. In that way, if you do get into trouble, you can always call for help. Patrick Gordon, Spanish Point Beach, County Clare. Last July, Patrick was out surfing with a friend when they heard a swimmer shouting for help after getting pulled from shore by a rip current and strong winds. He immediately paddled towards the swimmer and told his friend to make for shore to get help. Patrick took his friend's board, reached the exhausted swimmer and got him to hold onto the board until he regained his breath and was able to make it safely back to shore. Well done, Patrick. Josh Marley, Donegal. In August 2021, Josh became alerted to a person in distress at Lifford Bridge in Donegal. He immediately entered the river and managed to reach the woman and bring her to the safety of the riverbank where the emergency services took over. Congratulations, Josh. Miley Doran. In May 2021, Miley discovered two people, a mother and a daughter, in difficulty in the River Barrow. Miley immediately jumped in and managed to bring the young girl to safety before entering the water once more to rescue her mother. An incredible act of courage. Well done, Miley. And that brings us to the end of our National Award Ceremony 2022. Thank you so very much for watching. It's been an honour for me to guide you through all these deserving recipients. And if you are one of them, on behalf of the many lives that you helped to save, thank you. And thanks to all the volunteers that have given so much of their time to help promote water safety skills in their communities. Please encourage your friends and your families to learn about water safety. And you can do so by asking them to visit Water Safety Ireland's website watersafety.ie. Thank you for joining us for this evening's ceremony. Until next year, Slán agus Banath.